The story started for me when I was travelling the world a lot on business and uh, the experience was amazing until you landed. Paul came to us originally and had a vision for the high-end traveller, basically with a brief to design the state-of-the-art cutting-edge facility, one of a kind for Australia and potentially the world. We were really given carte blanche by the little group. There were no real limits placed on us in the design sense. Some really challenging aspects of this project were combining a fairly aspirational architectural expression with some fairly rigid briefing components like aircraft hangars and things where there's some fairly serious rules set in place. We really set ourselves to try and deliver a facility that inherently related to the aviation industry. I think Cox showed a huge amount of courage in going with a design that was essentially based on flight and something that was uniquely Australia, something that could convey much more than just we're in another corporate jet facility somewhere around the world. The idea of an all-encompassing wing form that, that housed all these varied components that were in this complicated brief was something that, that landed quite early. And the idea of this swooping form, which comes close to ground but doesn't touch it, was really designed to sort of play on this tension between Earth and sky. One of the key things we did have to look at was the wind and the environment we were working at at the airport. With such a building, we thought that working upwards of you know, 40 metres in the air would have been restrictive for us. So we did adopt a lot of prefabrication ideas and we went and did a whole lot of test modules back at our contractors factories because it's all got to fit like a Meccano set when it comes to sight. One of the reasons I think Hutchison delivered it so well was they understand design side of building as well as the construction side and that assisted us to be able to deliver Cox's vision. They collaborated really well together and I think that shows in the outcome. We've really pushed aeronautical movement throughout the facility from the curved roof the sweeping walls and the curvaceous forms. And we're very much trying to make this a uniquely Australian internal environment. The red wall touches on the Australian outback. We've touched on the blues and the sands that are seen across the beaches. We took the opportunity to try and create a really unique new gateway to Melbourne. And we were sketching items up on, on butter paper and just kind of discussing how the best detailing would work for the project. And, I believe that unless we had the collaborative nature of all parties involved in this, we wouldn't have achieved the success on this building that we did. And that's difficult, but we stuck to uh, that focus, and I'm so pleased that we have, because it has lifted the benchmark, I believe, not just within Australia, not just regionally, but globally. It's not lost on us what a special project this is for Paul and the Little Projects team knowing how much it meant to him and what a long-standing dream it's been of his. To be able to be a part of that team and have our stamp on it is something that we're immensely proud of. We delivered the project two weeks early for the client. That was a great feeling where you finally get to unwrap the present and, and see what you've created in its spans and its colours and the fit out. It's magnificent. It is the best job that the company's ever been involved in. You know, it's effectively a project that's once in a lifetime. We'll never ever get an opportunity to deliver a facility like this again, and we're incredibly proud of that.